हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल मनी कॉन्सन स्टडी मंत्र वंस अगेन ओके सो आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग ब्रेक वी आर गोइंग गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर कैरिकुलम सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द कैरिकुलम आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस आई वुड लाइक टू से दैट टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सम न्यू टाइप ऑफ चैप्टर और द नॉलेज दैट इज न्यू न्यू टाइप ऑफ टॉपिक्स दैट इज purely related to our simple equation that means in your textbook this will be your chapter number 4 and uh, before that i i hope all of you are staying at home and uh, all of you are fit healthy and concentrated here that means your mind is totally free of totally relaxed now you come and join to our video okay now Uh, if you have any doubt regarding the previous session also previous videos if you have any doubt you may ask here also there is no such compulsion that you have to ask questions related to this particular sessions only no uh, so we are now going to prepare for half yearly examination i hope all of you have done your uh, exam very well so now uh, without wasting much more time we will directly get into the chapter number 4 that is simple equation what it is simple equation as the name suggests that it is quite simple isn't it so if i separate both the words you will get nothing only simple means we all know this has no uh, relation with our mathematics yes it is not a mathematical term it is a linguistic term okay literature now what about equation the most important thing that we have to discuss here is equation now what do you mean by equation equation no equation means from this equation is based on that means formed from two words one is equal okay another is the process of making it equal understood equation means the process of making you may think like that but not the exact meaning of this particular thing but i am going to make you understand that what is equation actually equation is that process where you can equate you can make equal two different things by doing some mathematical operations okay now what may be those mathematical operations they those may be what plus that means addition subtraction then multiplication or division understood okay now why how can you uh, distinguish distinguish uh, between equation and expression see all of these involve equation whether it is equation or expression all of them involve some kind of what algebraic expressions okay i hope all of you uh where uh, all of you are well aware of algebraic expressions isn't it so algebraic expressions are those expressions where some literals like that means alphabets isn't it or some numbers may get involved by using some operations mathematical operations understood isn't it a algebraic expression ax plus by plus 6 equals to 0 uh, sorry it is an it is a what this is a algebraic expression it is a expression okay now what is the difference between expression and equation don't you understand suppose i am taking another example 5x plus 6 isn't it isn't it a algebraic expression yes it is algebraic expressions it is not an equation till now why because no equal symbol is there is it there no so let i am taking another example it's my choice suppose 5y plus 7x plus 3 suppose this is another expression and this is another expression if i need to make them from both of them if i need uh, to make a equation from both of them 
then what I have to do I have to put a equal symbol in between them that means what am I doing here can anybody tell me okay it means we have equated equated the process is called equated equation okay we have equated two algebraic simple algebraic expressions by the with the help of that equal symbol okay i hope you got it now what you have to do you have to simply say that this one is this one is a equation what it is it is a equation understood why i call it an equation because here equal sign is present and it is doing what it is equating to algebraic expressions okay and there will be some other kind of explanations regarding this also but this is the easiest way you, you can believe it and uh, there are lots of types of equations are also there we will go through those things later on but for the time being as it is a simple equation this is also a very simple equation now somebody may ask that what kind of equation it is if you look at them properly you will see here some variables x y x that means how many total number of how many variables are there there are two variables are there mind it understood y is also there and x is also there that means this is a, a simple equation this is a simple equation with how many variables with two variables in two variables understood if we read we if we have written a equation where only x as the variable that means only one variable then i would have told it as it is an equation of that is an equation of one variable or equation in single variable understood so very simple these are the basics regarding your uh, simple equation so we will now get into the concept okay um, uh, exercise 4.1 we don't want to waste more time here because these are very simple and you need not to panic that this we are going to uh, learn new concepts you will enjoy it remember me okay exercise 4.1 today we will not do very much lengthy of video we will make a, a smaller video okay now <coughs> 4.1 exercise 4.1 what is there in the book complete the last column of the table there is a there is a table given in the book isn't it now question number one that is in the first column it is given serial numbers isn't it serial numbers now one equation is given in the column two what is the value of those variables there that is given in the third column value of the variables that is involved in the equations are given correspondingly isn't it now what you have to do say whether the equation is satisfied yes or no how will you say how will you see it how will you check it see very simple whenever an equation is given that means in equation there you will see a equal sign isn't it here something will be there and here one part will be there that means some expression will be here and one expression will be here whether it is zero or what i don't care okay we need not to care about it we means we should not uh, be worried about it okay we should be concerned the fact that there is two part one in the left hand side another is in the right hand side that means there are two parts that is involved in case of any any simple equation so this part is called lhs or simply it the full form is left hand side and for that part that will be called as right hand side i hope you got it right left hand side and this is right hand side 
so you have to look whether left hand side is equal to right hand side or not then only this equal symbol will uh, satisfy otherwise if you are not getting left hand side and right hand side equal that means they are if they are not equal then you cannot write the equal symbol here that means it is not satisfying the, that means the value is not going to satisfy this particular uh, equation okay so now check let's check in our first very first question uh, x plus our x, uh, equation is what x plus 3 equals to 0 isn't it x plus 3 equals to 0 so x plus 3 equals to 0 means what is the left hand side here here left hand side equals to x plus 3 and what is the right hand side there is nothing that means 0 so we should not put value of 3 uh, sorry, sorry x in right hand side why because there is no actual statement or you can say yeah expression is available only a value is given okay so whenever x is there we have to put its value but in the question itself given that x equals to 3 that means we have we should put x equals to 3 in place of x so 3 plus 3 how you got it you could write here you should not write in the book but you may write in some other kind of problems that is putting p u -T, t i n g putting x equals to 3 okay so if you add them how much you will get 6 which is definitely not equals to 0 isn't it so not equals to r h s isn't it hence you have to write not satisfy your answer should be no your answer should be answer should be no understood you have to fill up that column uh, by putting a no in that particular um, place now similarly you can move on to some other other questions also look at the question number i am going to tell you i am going to show you question number one nine okay you do it okay you do it by yourself very simple things these are we have already discussed in previous classes also previous uh, that means previous year classes now number nine what is there m by three equals to two is given in the book okay now what is the value of m they are telling about they are telling that the value of m is minus six so now LHS equals to how much M by 3 we have. So put the value of M. How much we will get here given that M equals to minus 6. So put it there. 3 1s are 3. 3 2s are. So what is your answer? Minus 2. But are they same? Plus 2 and minus 2 are the same. So that means they are not equals to RHS. That means LHS not equals to RHS. Hence your answer should be no. Understood? I hope you got it very simple design so you complete this table i think you will be able to complete this okay so best of luck you do it okay now we will move to the next uh, question that is question number two check whether the given uh, whether the value given in the brackets is a solution to the given equation or not what you have to do you simply you have to check whether they are their value or not almost the same way you have to check almost in this way you have to check the value here also for question number two also for in question number two if you look at there question number two kisi ek ko kar denge kar denge hum konsa kiya f kar dete chalo question number one f okay how you have to write 4p minus 3 equals to 13 now first take solution given kya diya gaya hai usme what is given value of p is given isn't it p equals to how much zero now what you have to do now you have to now you have to uh, take the left hand side what is in the left hand side lhs equals to how much 4p minus 3 4p minus 
3. Now what you have to do what? Now place the value of P. Put the value of P. 4 into 0 minus 3. So what will be your answer? 0 minus 3 means minus 3 will be your answer from left hand side. Okay. Now what about the right hand side? That is but right hand side equals to how much? 13. So right hand side not equals to RHS. 13 cannot be equal to minus 3 okay so your answer will be this one so your what will be your uh, your last final line that you have to write that means p equals to 0 is not a solution of the given equation okay you have to write p equals to therefore p equals to 0 is not a solution of the given equation understood you have to write in this way otherwise you if, if you have got e uh, equals to rss then you have to write yeah therefore p equals to zero is a solution of the given equation understood so these are very simple in this method only you have to solve question number the whole question all the questions of well, question number two okay so you will do it at uh, means after this watching this video you have to complete this within this period only okay now question number three solve the following questions by heat and try by by trial and error method this is called trial and error method how will you solve it it is a very important question and you are going to look at the board carefully how you have to solve these type of questions these are very important type of questions which you are going to use in your daily life okay do daily life means in uh, higher classes also you are going to use these techniques now what is here uh, solved uh, uh, i will do the question number one what is question number three one three one ka kya hai? 5p plus 2 equals to 17 5p plus 2 equals to what? 17. This is the given, right? This is given in the uh, book. Uh, the question is, this question is given in the book. Now, how we will, how will you solve it? Yes or no? So, first, you have to consider this left-hand side. You have to consider this left-hand side. Let p of, oh, f of p f of this is p now what is the mm, how will i say yes what is the variable in this particular equation p isn't it so i will take this variable inside the bracket and i am naming it as an algebraic expression it is a name of the algebraic expression which is I am going to write here. This particular part you have to consider or name it as F. Okay, this particular part, that's the left hand side part. Okay, now what you have to do, you have to put some value of, suppose F of 0 you are putting. Okay, F of 0, this is heat and trial method. F of 0 means P ka value kitna hai? 0 hai. So you put here. 4 uh, 5 into 0 plus 2 how much you will get here definitely your answer will be 2 5 into 0 0 plus 2 you will get 2 is it equal to the right hand side not equal so you have to proceed again for some other value now f equals to 1 how much you will get 5 into 1 plus 2 how much you will get 5 ones are 5 plus 2 that means 7 still not equating now again move to question number uh, uh, value put the value of p s2 do it 5 to the 10 plus uh, 10 plus 2 your answer will be 12 again it is not matching again you put some other value 1 0 1 2 3 similarly you can put any value you, you may put here negative value also but i am not taking it as negative because we have a number in positive so we don't need a negative value here okay so now 5 into 3 plus 2 isn't it so 5 into 3 means 15 plus 2 how much you will get 17 isn't it equal to this one that means now we have missed uh, we have matched the right hand side we got a matching 
pair in the right hand side as in the given question that means at the for the value of p equals to 3 we have matched both right hand side equals to left hand side okay therefore here you have to write therefore the required solution required solution is what p equals to 3 why because we have put 3 here in place of p only right so this is the simplest way of solving this type of questions you may even write here rhs equals to rhs also you can write right now i hope you understood everything isn't it so you write this follow this technique for the remaining question also and we will stop our today's video here and you try to complete the today's video is very small uh, you try to complete this uh, up to here question number three all the questions uh, in the in this period only okay thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you